We begin with Donald Trump's major claim that this election is rigged. The president taking aim at Trump because of those words. In Colorado, Trump repeating his claim today. Members of his own party tonight saying that's just not true. Also this evening, People Magazine publishing a new article. They say they have colleagues supporting their reporter's story. She has accused Trump of sexual misconduct and this photo taken with the reporter and the Trumps at Mar-a-Lago. ABC's Tom Yamas leading us off. Tonight, with just three weeks to go, Donald Trump hammering his message the election could be stolen. They have rigged it from the beginning. It's rigged. It's a bad system. But they even want to try and rig the election at the polling booths. But today, a stern rebuke from President Obama. He started whining before the game's even over. If, if whenever things are going badly for you and, and you lose, you start blaming somebody else, then you don't have what it takes to be in this job. The president rejecting Trump's claims of widespread voter fraud. I'd advise Mr. Trump to stop whining and go try to make his case to get votes. Backstage, before one of his rallies, I asked Trump for proof the election is rigged. What evidence do you have of voter fraud? You look at certain parts of the country and you see the kind of voter fraud you have. You see people that have been dead for 10 years and they're still so-called voting. Experts say that's just not true and that voter fraud is extremely rare. Florida Senator Marco Rubio dismissing Trump's claims as preposterous. We have 67 counties in the state, each of which conduct their own elections. I promise you there is not a 67 county conspiracy to rig this election. But Trump brushing off concerns from fellow Republicans, especially House Speaker Paul Ryan. The Republican Party of Wisconsin. Trump's crowd taking on the speaker in his home state of Wisconsin. Do you think he wants you to win? Well, maybe not, because maybe he wants to run in four years, or maybe he doesn't know how to win. But Ryan, not the only Republican breaking with Trump, since at least nine women accused him of sexual misconduct. Melania Trump defending her husband. This was all organized from the opposition. Did they ever check the background of these women? Uh, they don't have any facts. But today, one of those women getting new support. Seen in this photo, standing next to Trump in 2005 at his Florida resort Mar-a-Lago. She was there to profile the Trumps, but says when Melania was out of the room, Trump shut the door behind us. Within seconds, he was pushing me against the wall and forcing his tongue down my throat. Trump denies it. Why wasn't it part of the story? Why didn't they make it part of the story? But today, People magazine published testimonials from five friends and colleagues who say she confided in them shortly after the alleged assault. She was very shaken up. She was scared. Um, she wanted to know what to do. She was scared of retaliation. Tom Yamas joins us live tonight from Colorado. And Tom, you've just learned new details at this hour about Trump's strategy going into tomorrow night's debate. David, more psychological warfare, and this is truly incredible. Donald Trump at the last debate had invited President Bill Clinton's accusers. And tomorrow night, President Obama's half-brother Malik will be at the debate in the hall as a guest of Donald Trump. Now, Malik has clashed over his brother's policies as well as Hillary Clinton's, but he says tomorrow night he's there because he supports Donald Trump for president.